Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Athena. And I put out new videos on Thursdays and every other Monday. Today is a very long awaited, overdue, exciting video. Today is going to be my personal experience on Accutane, topical creams, acne, birth control, blah, blah, blah. Accutane is a form of vitamin A. It basically makes your skin cell renewal rate faster. Your skin renewal is every 30 days give or take and then when you're on Accutane it's just faster than that so you're constantly like shedding new skin not like actually like, shedding new skin but your your turnover is just faster I'm gonna try to put uh, time stamps in the bottom of like topics that I touch on just because I feel like this could be a little lengthy uh, I'm first going to touch into how I and why I started my Accutane journey um, I might have to kind of flip flop from like time frames and stuff, but I'll I'll try to just kind of keep it as organized as possible. I do have some notes here and some products that I'm going to share. So uh, yeah, real quick, let's just kind of get into my story. In July 2016, I decided to switch my birth control pill that helped with acne into something a little bit more long term. I wasn't really the best with the everyday thing. At the beginning I was fine with it, but like nearing the end, I just like couldn't be bothered with it. So I was like, okay, the best option for me is to switch to something more long term, which was an IUD. I am on Jadis. I have been on Jadis for two and a half years. This July will be my three years and also when I will be getting it removed because it does last three years. I do have a bunch of videos on that whole process so I will link all of those in a card over here and I will also be doing a three year update on Jadis come more in the summertime. When I switched to Jadis, my body did not really like that too much. So I think two months of me having Jadis, I started breaking out. And I always kind of had like hormonal breakouts around that time of the month. I broke out a little bit in grade 12, but nothing too crazy. So I ended up going to my doctor and just being like, hey, what is going on? The only thing I've changed is my birth control. Ended up going on a few topical creams before trying Accutane because normally Accutane is your like last step. You normally have to do other like topical creams before you go on Accutane. Um, I do have some more information about topical creams, so I'm going to leave that I'm just gonna stick with the Accutane story first and then once we finish all that then I'll kind of talk about topical creams but again everything will be in the description if you kind of want to jump around because bitch might be long okay so I tried some topical creams but long story short I didn't really know how to use them properly I wasn't really overly informed with them I wasn't using them consistently either April 2017 my benefits under my mom's work were going to expire because of my age and me at the time not being in school so i from september 2016 i think i maybe gave topical creams like a month or two normally you need a minimum of four months for topical creams and again I also wasn't using them consistently so I basically just decided like nope Accutane is my only option here because I am no longer going to be on benefits and I don't know how much it costs. January of 2017 I started Accutane because again, my benefits were expiring April of that year. So I had four months of being on benefits and then for the remainder, I would just pay out of pocket, which I will also explain like how much and things. So I was on the brand Accutane, like the actual Accutane brand for probably like a month. And then I went to my dermatologist and he recommended a different Accutane. It's still Accutane, but it's just like a different name. It apparently like works faster or something. I don't really remember. Um, but that one was called Epris. M M Epris? 
I forget, I'll insert a little picture, but that's what I was on majority of the time. I was on Accutane from January 2017 until September 2017. If you're on Accutane, there is literally so much that you have to go through. I feel like they make it a lot more scary than it really is. Um, there was definitely a lot to do. Um, if you are a woman, you have to get tested for pregnancy. You have to be on two different types of birth control, regardless of whether you're sexually active or not. The only way that you don't have to is if you have a full hysterectomy. You still have to even if your ovary tubes are tied. Primary form, I'm just gonna go through that. Either you have to have um, tubes tied, your male has to have a vasectomy, either an IUD, again, which is what I have. You have to be on either birth controls, patches, implants, injections, or the vaginal ring. So those options are your number one priority of a contraceptive. You still have to have another one. So the other one's options are condom, foam or gel spermicide, cervical cup, or vaginal sponge. My main method of birth control was the IUD. Second method was condoms. Also, I had to go to the doctors every, every single month and have blood work taken and urine taken again for pregnancy tests. You are not allowed to donate blood, I think like a month or two after, before and after you start and finish Accutane. Also, do not take other vitamins that have vitamin A because you're already taking a high dosage of vitamin A, which is your Accutane. You are not allowed to do any laser treatments or waxing again one month before and one month after your Accutane. I unfortunately had that experience where I full on forgot that I was on Accutane. I got my eyebrows waxed. I think I might have um like a video or something of that but yeah literally the skin on top of my eyebrows came off because you're not supposed to get waxed so Accutane it makes you sensitive to the sun have to wear SPF a minimum treatment of Accutane is normally three months also when you're on Accutane one time doesn't mean that you won't be on it again. When you miss a dose, Accutane is not like a birth control pill. Do not double dose. Let's say you normally take it in the morning when you wake up. If you remember that same day at like 2 p.m., oh, I forgot my Accutane pill, you can take it. If it's the following day, that's when you don't double up. You just skip the day before, it never happened, and just take your one day for that day. Now on um, the drugs.com Accutane website, I'm just going to go through the symptoms here and I'm going to just say whether I experienced them or not. Depressed mood, trouble concentrating, sleep problems, crying spells, aggression, Agitation, changes in behavior, hallucinations, thoughts of suicide or hurting yourself. No, I did not experience any of those. Sudden numbness or weakness, especially on one side of your body. No. Blurred vision, sudden and severe headache or pain behind your eyes, sometimes with vomiting. No. Hearing problems, hearing loss or ringing in your ears. No. Seizures. No. Severe pain in your upper stomach, spreading to your back, nausea, vomiting, fast heart rate. There was one occasion where I had like an awful pain somewhere in my stomach and I literally was on the floor. I remember I was going to work and I had gotten up and I was like, oh my Christ, what is that? And it only happened the one time, it ended up going away. I have literally no idea if this, if the Accutane was a result or I have no idea. But I'm just gonna say potentially. Loss of appetite, dark urine, clay colored stools, jaundice, no. 
severe diarrhea, rectal bleeding, black, bloody, and tarry stools, no, fever, chills, body aches, flu symptoms, purple spots under the skin, easy bruising or bleeding, no, severe blistering, peeling, and red skin rash. I did get rashes on my hands. Um, nothing, like they weren't like full hands, they were just like a little bit right here on like the more wrist area. You can kind of see them in like older videos. They definitely did kind of bother me for sure just because I work in cosmetics so I do have to sanitize and wash my hands a lot so it definitely just dried out the skin. The rashes didn't start until like a month-ish into Accutane and then it kind of stopped around like the fourth fifth month so I didn't have it the whole time. Joint stiffness, bone pain, or fracture, no. Dizziness, drowsy, or nervousness, I mean I'm always nervous so. Dryness of the lips, mouth, nose, and skin, yes. This was probably, this is the biggest, most common side effect. Uh, I remember within the first week I had like the driest corner mouths. I had really, really dry lips, and overall my face was dry, especially on the actual acne. So that, I would say, was my definite, like, number one symptom was just dryness. Second was probably, again, just the rashes on my hands. And then third, that, like, odd pain right there. That was literally all... I experienced. I remember it definitely got worse before it got better but that was to be as expected because Accutane also brings everything out to the surface. So I think February, March was my worst acne month. I would say after like the fifth, sixth month I wasn't really noticing anything and my face was quite clear. Four of those months I was on benefits, the other four I paid out of pocket. So for me where I live, I for one month I paid a hundred dollars for my dosage of Accutane. Uh, the dosage of Accutane goes off of your height and body weight. So I was on um, 40 milligrams of the medication, but I don't exactly know why, but I was rather than taking one tablet of 40, I was taking two tablets of 20. And then I had Baby Soft Amazing, Amazing Skin for September, October, November, December, January for four months. And then fast forward to February 2018, I was getting, again, mild acne right here, but not like the cystic red acne that I was previously getting. I was getting like the under the skin, black head, really, really teeny tiny, no color acne. Um, that started on my forehead, it was going down into the temples as well. And then fast forward a few months later, it kind of was going down again into the contour cheek area. I probably dealt with all that mild acne for a really, really long time. Probably nearly a year, I want to say. So I went back to the dermatologist maybe like August of 2018 or so and he gave me a topical cream so now we'll kind of dive into a bit of topical creams and stuff so he recommended this to me and again because i am me i was not using it consistently again and then i stopped using it for a while and blah 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 so then i went back again recently maybe like a month ago and he again is like use your cream bitch so here we are let's just backtrack a smidgen because as i mentioned before i was an accutane i was on topical creams i was given i don't even remember what i was given but it was something from my doctor not my dermatologist the problem with topical creams for me and again this is going back to 2016 before i started my accutane I didn't feel like people really explained how to use them well and properly. I was told um, to start, you can do it every other day and then after 
a little bit. Once your skin is okay with it, you can use it every day. I was just not using it consistently and I think I was so, again, we're talking about 2016 me when I had much more acne. I was really desperate for it to be gone like as soon as possible and the topical creams again normally take around three months of consistent use which is the same as Accutane yes normally you need at least three months oops but the Accutane I knew would work topical creams you still don't really know that much so basically in 2016 again before my Accutane Number one, I was not using them consistently. Number two, I was using way too much. I was applying it everywhere and I was using as much as I would use a moisturizer to go everywhere, not including the eye area. So because I was using way too much every other day, every day, here and there, it would make my skin incredibly itchy and burn. If you use topical creams and you're having that problem, chances are you're using too much. So basically what you need to do is just stop using it, moisturize, 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 wait until your skin kind of comes back to normal, and then start your topical cream again, and just don't use as much this time. So I'm gonna show you how much I use, just so we kind of have an idea. Uh, this is the one I'm currently on. Again, not the one that I was on before. So I use about that much. And this cream I apply, first I kind of massage it between my fingers and I tap. Tapping is like really important with this stuff because I found again that once you're consistently using it, your skin again is going to get dry and the swiping motion on your dry skin is just um, really uncomfortable and not painful, but just like, it's just not nice. The only way to really kind of like not have it overly flare up is to tap. So tap. So I take this, I massage it between my fingers and my problem areas again are still forehead and then I bring it down the temples and then cheeks. Sometimes I'll bring it down a bit on the chin when I'm a bit more hormonal, but that's it. I do not apply it on my nose because I only apply it to my problem areas and I don't apply it around the eye area either. So now fast forward to August 2018 when I was first prescribed this, again, the same thing happened where I was like, I don't know how much to use. I don't know what I'm doing. So again, I was using way too much and my face was freaking burning. So again, what I did is I stopped using it I was, usually takes about like two weeks, I would say, for your skin to kind of like relax and kind of-ish go back to normal. And I just stopped using it and I was like, this isn't working. Because again, be and I think my personal problem is because I was on Accutane, like for me to be back on a topical cream again really just irks my soul because I'm just like, bitch, what but again as i mentioned before just because you're on accutane one time does not mean that you might not need to go on topical creams and accutane again fast forward to a month ago or so at this point i went back to my dermatologist and i was like this cream isn't working and the reason why it wasn't working was so that i wasn't using it and then he goes, okay, so like how often are you using it? And I was like, oh, you know, like every other day. I lied, I was not using it every day or every other day. I just, I fully just stopped using it for like a couple months. And I was like, it's not working, like give me something else. Basically, and again, this happened to me again. I have not used this topical cream in probably about two weeks because I had a situation, I had two styes in this eye and it was really, really bad. I was in a lot of pain, so I just stopped using it. Um, but now we're back on it again. So, um, I'm just gonna share a couple other products here. Um, both of these are great, whether you're on topical cream or Accutane, both will suffice. So like I said, when you're on topical creams or Accutane, you have to use SPF. So I do use SPF because again, my um, face is sensitive to the sun. By the way, this is Stevia A. So again, it is a form of uh, vitamin A and this is a 0.1%. 
The SPF that I use, I literally just mix it in with my moisturizer. This is the Garnier Umbrella SPF 60. This is non cadavogenic This is fragrance free. This is hypoallergenic. The moisturizer I'm using is again really great for people who are on topical creams or Accutane because it is a repairing balm. So this is the La Roche Posay Psychoplast B5 soothing repairing balm mix between the hands and i tap on and this i apply everywhere because even though i'm not applying this everywhere it's still making my skin renewal faster so i still get dry in places where i don't apply this it's thick it's kind of gross i really just enjoy it at nighttime and it just really helped when I was applying too much topical cream and it was like burning and shit. And then the last thing which I feel like a lot of people kind of forget is a lip balm specifically with SPF because again, you use SPF on your face for your topical cream, but your lips is kind of like the same as your eye area. It's thinner skin, there's not as much skin as like on your cheek area, and they're just a little bit more sensitive. So this is just the Jack Black Lip Balm SPF 25 in the black tea. I also have the lemon one. It's just easy, I have it on right now. And just to kind of make sure that I'm also wearing SPF on my lips. So overall, I think Butane sounds scarier than it really is. Um, it did help. I don't regret it at all, but again, keep in mind, just because you're on it one time does not mean that acne won't come back. Um, again, you may have to take it a second time or you may have to go back on topical creams. Also, topical creams, same thing. I'm gonna have to be on this for at least three, four months before I start noticing a difference. And I know that like my skin looks quite clear, but it's the it's the feel it's the texture i still have mild acne under the skin where it's hard to see but when you touch the skin it's it's congested it's all there i think if you're interested in accutane and if you do have acne that is mild to severe and you've tried topical creams and things like that it does not hurt to just inquire and ask your doctor i ended up seeing my doctor quite quickly just because he put a rush on my chart normally for a dermatologist the wait is quite long um he got me in in about like a month or two i forgot to mention you still can exfoliate when you are on Accutane, but make sure it's nothing too abrasive. Your skin is going to get sensitive. Another thing is when you're on Accutane or topical creams, don't use other acne products. Use something mild and gentle. Leave me questions down below. I feel like that was quite brief. It was just kind of like skimming the top, a little bit of my experience and stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!